In today's video, we are going to talk about 10 plants that are poisonous to chickens and why you should keep them away from your flock. Chickens are curious creatures and they love to explore and peck at different things in their environment. But some plants can be harmful or even fatal to them if they eat them. So let's find out what these plants are and how to prevent your chickens from eating them. 1. Deadly Nightshade The first plant on our list is Deadly Nightshade also known as belladonna or atropa belladonna. This plant has purple flowers and black berries that look tempting to chickens, but they contain a powerful toxin called atropine that affects the nervous system and can cause paralysis, convulsions, and death. Deadly nightshade is one of the most poisonous plants in the world, and it was used by ancient Romans to poison their enemies. It was also used by witches and sorcerers to make potions and hallucinogens. You may have heard of the famous Italian actress and singer belladonna, who took her stage name from this plant. She was known for her beauty and seductive charm, but also for her controversial and scandalous lifestyle. She died of a drug overdose at the age of 33. Foxglove? The second plant on our list is Foxglove, also known as Digitalis or Digitalis purpurea. This plant has tall spikes of pink or purple flowers that attract bees and hummingbirds, but they are very dangerous to chickens. Foxglove contains a substance called digoxin, which is used to treat heart problems in humans, but it can cause irregular heartbeat, cardiac arrest, and death in chickens. Foxglove is also toxic to humans and animals, and it was used by ancient Celts to poison their enemies' wells. It was also used by herbalists and healers to treat various ailments, but with great caution and precision. You may have heard of the famous British novelist Agatha Christie, who wrote many mystery and crime stories. She was also a trained pharmacist, and she used her knowledge of poisons to create ingenious plots and twists. She often used foxglove as a murder weapon in her novels, such as in The Murder at the Vicarage and A Pocket Full of Rye. The rhubarb. The third plant on our list is rhubarb, also known as Rum or Rum rhubarbum. This plant has large green leaves and red stalks that are edible and used to make pies, jams, and sauces. But the leaves are very toxic to chickens and contain a high amount of oxalic acid, which can cause kidney failure, seizures, and death. Rhubarb is also harmful to humans and animals if the leaves are eaten and they can cause skin irritation and mouth ulcers if touched. Rhubarb is native to Asia, and it was used by ancient Chinese and Tibetans as a medicinal plant and a laxative. It was also used by Europeans and Americans as a food and a dye. You may have heard of the famous American poet Sylvia Plath, who wrote many poems and novels about her life and struggles. She was also a talented cook and baker, and she loved to make rhubarb pies and cakes. She suffered from depression and bipolar disorder, and she committed suicide by gassing herself in her oven at the age of 30, or Lily of the Valley. The fourth plant on our list is Lily of the Valley, also known as Convalaria or Convalaria majalis. This plant has small white flowers that smell sweet and are used to make perfumes and cosmetics, but they are very poisonous to chickens and contain a compound called convalitoxin, which can cause vomiting, diarrhea, irregular heartbeat, and death. Lily of the Valley is also toxic to humans and animals, and it can cause skin rashes and eye irritation if touched. Lily of the Valley is native to Europe and Asia, and it was used by ancient Greeks and Romans as a symbol of purity and innocence. It was also used by medieval Christians as a symbol of the Virgin Mary and the resurrection of Christ. You may have heard of the famous French composer Claude Debussy, who wrote many pieces of music inspired by nature and Impressionism. He was also a lover of flowers, and he dedicated one of his most famous works, The Prelude to the Afternoon of a Fawn, to a bouquet of lilies of the valley that he received from a friend. 5. Yew The fifth plant on our list is yew, also known as Taxus or Taxus baccata. This plant has dark green needles and red berries that look attractive to chickens, but they are very deadly and contain a substance called taxine, which can cause respiratory failure, cardiac arrest, and death. Yew is also lethal to humans and animals, and it can cause nausea, dizziness, and convulsions if ingested. Yew is native to Europe and Asia, and it was used by ancient Druids and Celts as a sacred tree and a source of wood for bows and arrows. It was also used by medieval Europeans and Americans as a symbol of immortality and longevity. You may have heard of the famous English poet William Wordsworth, who wrote many poems about nature and romanticism. He was also a lover of trees, and he planted a yew tree in his garden at Rydal Mount, where he lived for most of his life. He wrote a poem called Yew Trees, in which he praised the beauty and mystery of the yew. 6. Daffodil The sixth plant on our list is daffodil, also known as Narcissus or Narcissus, Pseudonarcissus. This plant has bright yellow flowers that are a sign of spring and are used to celebrate Easter and Mother's Day, but they are very harmful to chickens and contain a chemical called lacerine, which can cause vomiting, diarrhea, tremors, and death. 
Daffodil is also poisonous to humans and animals, and it can cause skin irritation and mouth ulcers if touched. Daffodil is native to Europe and Asia, and it was used by ancient Greeks and Romans as a symbol of beauty and vanity. It was also used by medieval Europeans and Americans as a symbol of hope and rebirth. You may have heard of the famous Welsh poet Dylan Thomas, who wrote many poems and stories about his childhood and homeland. He was also a lover of flowers, and he named his daughter Aranwi, which means daffodil in Welsh. 7. Hydrangea The seventh plant on our list is hydrangea, also known as hortensia or hydrangea macrophylla. This plant has large clusters of pink, blue, or white flowers that are popular for landscaping and decoration, but they are very toxic to chickens and contain a substance called cyanogenic glycoside, which can cause breathing difficulties, weakness, and death. Hydrangea is also poisonous to humans and animals and it can cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea if ingested. Hydrangea is native to Asia, and it was used by ancient Japanese and Chinese as a medicinal plant and a tea ingredient. It was also used by Europeans and Americans as a symbol of gratitude and sincerity. You may have heard of the famous American actress, Anne Hathaway, who starred in many movies and musicals. She was also a lover of flowers, and she had a hydrangea-themed wedding with her husband, Adam Schulman. She wore a hydrangea crown and carried a hydrangea bouquet. She also gave hydrangea plants as favors to her guests. 8. Azalea The eighth plant on our list is azalea, also known as rhododendron or rhododendron simsi. This plant has bright and colorful flowers that are a sign of spring and are used to celebrate Easter and Mother's Day, but they are very dangerous to chickens and contain a compound called grayanotoxin, which can cause drooling, vomiting, paralysis, and death. Azalea is also harmful to humans and animals, and it can cause skin irritation and allergic reactions if touched. Azalea is native to Asia, and it was used by ancient Koreans and Japanese as a ceremonial plant and a food ingredient. It was also used by Europeans and Americans as a symbol of passion and romance. You may have heard of the famous British singer Adele, who has a powerful and soulful voice. She was also a lover of flowers, and she named one of her albums, 25, after the age she was when she wrote most of the songs. She also had a tattoo of an azalea flower on her wrist, which she said represented her love for her son, Angelo. 9. Castor bean The ninth plant on our list is castor bean, also known as Ricinus or Ricinus communis. This plant has large green leaves and red or yellow seeds that are used to make castor oil and biodiesel, but they are very deadly to chickens and contain a protein called ricin, which can cause severe bleeding, organ failure, and death. Castor bean is also fatal to humans and animals, and it can cause nausea, fever, and shock if ingested. Castor bean is native to Africa and Asia, and it was used by ancient Egyptians and Indians as a medicinal plant and a lamp fuel. It was also used by terrorists and assassins as a weapon of mass destruction and murder. You may have heard of the famous Bulgarian dissident, Georgi Markov, who was killed by a poisoned umbrella that injected a tiny pellet of ricin into his leg. He died four days later in a London hospital. His murder was never solved, and it was suspected to be a plot by the Bulgarian Secret Service. 10. Hemlock The tenth and final plant on our list is hemlock, also known as conium or conium maculatum. This plant has small white flowers and purple spotted stems that are similar to parsley or carrot, but they are very poisonous to chickens and contain a toxin called conine, which can cause muscle weakness, paralysis, and death. Hemlock is also lethal to humans and animals, and it can cause nausea, vomiting, and coma if ingested. Hemlock is native to Europe and Asia, and it was used by ancient Greeks and Romans as a method of execution and suicide. It was also used by philosophers and scholars as a symbol of wisdom and courage. You may have heard of the famous Greek philosopher Socrates, who was sentenced to death by drinking a cup of hemlock for corrupting the youth and defying the gods. He accepted his fate and drank the poison in front of his friends and students. He died peacefully and nobly. So how can you protect your chickens from these deadly plants? The best way is to avoid planting them in your garden or near your chicken coop or run. You can also educate yourself on how to distinguish these deadly plants from other edible plants. If you suspect that your chickens have eaten them, you should contact your veterinarian immediately. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more chicken-related content. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Do you have any experience with these plants and your chickens? Do you have any questions or suggestions for us? We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.